I shared it with f- me and three other dudes, but I also share my G spot with three other dudes. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> Lovely. Welcome to the first episode, first episode of Podcasters Anonymous. I'm Jeff. I'm Jonah. My name is Reed. And we're making a mistake. Uh, The internet will definitely humble us. Humble us? Humble us. What does that mean? They'll roast the shit out of us. No. How? Name one negative thing about us. (laughs) I won't go there. The easy answer was... We're podcasting right now. Ah, uh, that's funny. Yeah. That's actually funny. Thank you. That's the first time you've ever said that to me. And it'll never happen again. So we're doing great so far. Jonah, I have a question for you. Yeah. Where's what our kombucha? What did I do today? No. Oh. <laughs> it's not always that <laughs> okay, basic. Okay, I'll answer. So, Jesus. <laughs> my boss called me at like 7.30 this morning. <laughs> <laughs> this morning. And uh, he was like, no work. So I slept in. You did work today? No. Wow. I slept in. See, th- now this is what's wrong with America. <laughs> Is lazy. That's why there's a housing shortage. <laughs> Nobody wants I, to work anymore. I keep getting called out of work. So I'm, I go home. Is it performance based? Sorry? Performance. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say performance based in a funny way, but it wasn't. So I go home. I'm like, I got the day off. I'm going to be productive. So I clean my room. I uh, go start a load of laundry. I'm like, that's a good idea. Go sweep, vacuum, all this stuff. Go back to my laundry. Evan's jar of weed uh-huh. is on the ground, on the brick, shattered. Bruh. So it's like, I'm like, fuck. I'm like, okay, I got to deal with that. <clears throat> so I'm like picking up So you up swept all up this- the broken glass in the <laughs> yeah. weed and put it back in the bong. <laughs> I'm picking up all this weed. I had to find a new jar and put it all in there. And then I had to like put it all on the, I put it on the whiteboard so I could like see very clearly and like picked out shard by shard <laughs> all the glass wow you're i would you're, not you're a great friend i would not smoke that weed <laughs> i told him i told him when he got no home. but he's still gonna smoke that weed you should have not told <laughs> him and like, thrown no. it away he's like I, it's okay i smoke out of a bong so like the glass will get stuck in the water and he's like i don't I'll know if that's fun. a risk i'm willing to take <laughs> and then i was like i'm not a hundred percent sure if the science is there but, you know, so I, I let time, you know. That's all I can do. Next time this man uses his bong, he's and then going... He was, <laughs> then he was like, wait, the, but like a uh, dip or whatever. There's glass in that. And he's like, I'll just get higher. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get home today, and he's just going to be foaming out the mouth. So, so, bought, so he thanked me. <laughs> and after that mess is done, I go, and I'm like, okay, I got to take a shower before coming here and stuff. So I go to the bathroom. And like went beforehand, when I hung up my laundry in the shower on the rod, because we don't have anywhere else to hang it up, I put it there, and I was like vacuuming the bathroom floor. So I took the, the shower mat, draped it over the side of the bath. When I go back to go take a shower, it had fallen and slipped into our shower. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, let me grab that. Open the curtain. It's fucking soaking wet. <laughs> Our shower is backed up <laughs> like three inches of water. Oh, yeah, it's bad. And it had it's come, bad right now. It There's come, pubes all up in that. <laughs> Dude. And that's your fault. But it, <laughs> it, this had, man. it had come back up Dude. the drain, so it was like dirty, dirty water. And it was all gross. So I take the shower mat at, like, out, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and deal with this drain, even though it's not my job. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Evan and Jeff. <laughs> I Who got put on drain duty? Well, it's whoever has the most hair. So it was always Evan's problem. But then apparently it came out that I'm the only one that shaves downstairs in the shower. Why would you shave in the, exactly. in the shower? I've told Where else to. do you shave? You straddle over top of the toilet. You're going to get so much hair all over the toilet rim. It, well, you flush it. Also, how do you get it off you, like the little hairs? Then you take a shower after. So you're still getting hairs in the shower. But I take a shower Massively first. less hair. First? Yeah. Also, how do you wet your razor? I don't wet the razor. I come in, I'm you, coming out of the wait, shower, wait, 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 so wait, wait, my body's wait, 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 wet. Time out, Jeff. Yeah. You're using. Are you, are you naked mole rat shaving? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that? Uh, I'm assuming that's like a like a straight razor. Yeah. Oh <laughs> no no no. So are you yeah, using like a, uh, like a manscaper? 
Future sponsor of the he's, pod, he's Manscaped Lawnmower the, the, Two the, the, 3.0. Why do you wet it? it no, it's a three. It's a three. I found out it's a three. It's not a four. Whatever but it's a three. Jeff has, he bought like an old version when there was a newer version already out, and he's pissed. Well, about I bought it. the three right when the four <laughs> came out. So that was a little upsetting. But no, I use a Manscaped. So why I just do you stick, wet it? Though? I stick my entire body right in the, the stream of shower, mm. and I shave in the stream. I mean, I can understand. The execution. That way my razor's always wet, and the hairs that get cut just immediately get pushed off. Hmm. It's efficient. Well, apparently it clogs the drain. So you know There's what? I'm done defending it. It's not efficient. I'm, not de- I'm done defending it, but... Do you have a, a hair stopper? See that? The there, fuck is a hair there's stopper? There's many steps. What we have in the sink. What you don't know what the fuck a hair stopper is. <laughs> Never heard of it. You uh, tell Reed has lived I forgot that the you house for longer don't work us. and are unemployed. <laughs> Uh, that's of course you wouldn't have I'm a hair stopper. Yeah. <laughs> so, if I had a job, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Sounds like stopper. if you had a job, you would have had a much better day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So back to that. So, I'm, uh, so then I'm like, I'm not going to take a shower and have my feet like in this dirty-ass water. So I'm like, i got to deal with this before I can take a shower. So I'm like trying to clean it out. I can't get the cap off. Are you naked at this point? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you got naked and then you were like, fuck, and then proceeded to do all this butt-ass naked. So just that, like bending over. That was, <laughs> that was my mental picture. Just Thanks for ruining it. Now I can't trick off tonight. Okay. Well, picture whatever you want, but I wasn't naked. So I spent like 30, 45 minutes. I didn't have like a, like a drain snake or anything like that. So I had seen a video recently. I didn't want to go to the store. I was too dirty to go to the store. Set because you were a, naked. A stopwatch. Right. <laughs> Set a stopwatch. <laughs> we're recording a podcast. Such a dick. It was just the whole I thing. I forgot to that's, set up. That's, I don't have a great ending to that story. So is it still three inches of water standing now? No, I, I worked it for long enough that it, it got it drains. Super slow now, mm. but it will get all the water out of there. I actually have a, a story about drains as well. <laughs> Turn your phone on. Do not disturb. <laughs> the fuck? Um, Acting like he's never done this before. I, uh, uh, I know why that drain issue is not my fault. Why? I can prove it. I saw how much of it was your fault. No, and that's why I can prove it, because it didn't so go all the way down. Contextually means that you knew what Jeff's pubes were looking like before. Here's what I pulled out of the drain. Hair that, you was, brought some that was this long, Evan, and a lot of little hair that was like <laughs> this long. Hold on. <laughs> I just want like, to put it out there. We, there's no proof that the hair that was this long was not also Evan's pubes. We don't know the length. They, they, don't, they don't get that long. Have you ever tried? No. I I think. Well, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. It, <laughs> it has like a threshold. Yeah, yeah. This it's is, not like. It probably doesn't get longer than like that if you like really like yeah. pulled one. So anyway, read your drain story. <clears throat> I mean, my drain story is not nearly as intricate as that. Good. But we my freshman year of college, <laughs> I. Stop <laughs> <laughs> my freshman year of college, I store I. Stole? I, sh- I stole mm-hmm. everything. I shared a, because uh, I lived on campus, mm-hmm. shout out, um, called it the G-Spot is where I lived. Not even joking, that's actually mm. what we call it. It's called the G-Spot. Uh, Gresham Hall. How were you able to find uh, it each day? That sucked. <laughs> 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 I shared it with me and three other dudes, but I also share my G spot with three other dudes. God <laughs> damn! <laughs> Continue, dude. I'm liking this. I'm building my hour right now, dude. Jeff got <laughs> thinks he got the jokes today. <laughs> I'm zooted off the booch. I, that sucked too. <laughs> that was even worse. Just ignore him. Go, go on with the story. <laughs> I'm zooted <laughs> with the boot. You will be editing this because I don't trust it's not going in. That can't go in. Think about how I can make me look really good right now. That sucks, dude. Not if that's what you're working with. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at the G spot with three of your boys. Yeah, me and me and uh, it was me and my roommate, and then we shared a bathroom with two other people mm-hmm. that were 
not our friends, but they weren't our enemies. Just mm. like sister co-exi- bathroom. Yes, we were coexisting. Is that what that's called? Yeah. Nice. Uh, we had obviously you could lock each door, but we kind of they didn't lock very well. So a lot of awkward interactions of walking in on mm. people, like either taking a poo. Mm. I mean, there was a shower curtain, but. Was that the only bathroom that all four of you had to share? It, yes, it was. That sounds horrible. One bathroom. That's good for a dorm, though. It, I mean, it wasn't like an entire hall. Yeah. Is it because... My dorm was like a one bathroom for a whole floor. But the one the bathroom yeah, was like... Wasn't it a bigger bathroom? It was, it was like but a there were like restroom. three... There were three toilets and oh, like that four ratio showers. Well yeah, so... Yeah, okay. fair enough. I'll give you that. <clears throat> so it wasn't... It could have been a lot worse. Anyways, the... The issue that we would run into, similar to you, we went walked in one day and we're like, oh, there's some standing water. It drains slowly. Yeah. So this is a warning to you, actually. So you can get it to the point where your shower drains slowly. And eventually, you know, start draining even slower and eventually mm-hmm. to the point where it just doesn't drain at all. Well, if you have standing water or slow draining water for a long amount of time, you open the shower curtain and have an entire perimeter of a shower covered in Mold. Ooh, ooh. And that's like a long we were, time. Yeah. I love. We were both waiting to be like, yeah, we know. We have an entire yeah. shower perimeter covered in pubes. It's but like then you said mold. Shit. Yeah. No. I think our, mold is ours much hasn't worse been than that pubes. bad. But fucking sucks. I haven't been home for like a week or something. Why? I come home, three inches of water Where in the been? shower. What? Where you been? Maybe you should come home more often, Jonah. <laughs> Why aren't you coming home, Jonah? Also, yeah. Someone's been using my fucking bar of soap. <laughs> You know that's not me. That's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you that's what home? I come home to. What? Well, I've been working in Virginia Beach. And you just stay out there? On the, yeah. You sleep on the job site, man? Yeah. Wow. I'm a real man. We're bitches. He just grabs three two-by-fours, <laughs> lays them out, puts a piece of plywood on top, and he's good to go. He grabs a, gives a handful of nails. He's a piece down of plywood as a blanket, too. Yeah, just a solid. <laughs> uh, a hard hat as a pillow. Like, Am I a man now, Dad? <laughs> Cries to sleep with your drill. He's next to him. He's dead, but he's there. <laughs> just wake up covered in splinters. Ooh. Yeah. But yes, um, I will try to figure out the alternate shaving method that you guys have created. Just get out of the shower, dry off, and then, like, shave in you know front what? of the mirror. We're in this so house for, like, like... So you can really, like, see what design you're doing and make sure it's, like, proportionate. Mm. Mm. Well, you see, the I future do. sponsor, yeah. Manscaped 3.0, <laughs> comes with a little light, so I don't really even need all that. Wow. That's pretty impressive, honestly. Yeah. Isn't it? But then, like, just sweep up after. Get it on the ground, sweep it up. And Fine. then you're not clogging the drain, and Fine. I don't have to... Fine. I don't have to work. All right. Roommate meeting Extra. over. No, wait. No, it's not. <laughs> Where's the whiskey? Where's our SCOBY? <laughs> what's a, I said... What's I, a SCOBY? A SCOBY is... I forget. It's an acronym. Um, it stands for like... Something culture symbiotic of... Symbiotic culture. Symbiotic culture of biotic... Uh, something. Energy. But it's like... Okay. <clears throat> it's like a living... Thing, organism, organism. It's like bacteria. So you make you make kombucha by like you make green tea. Oh, Symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. I nice. see what you're doing now. Yeah. You have a laptop. Why didn't you use it? Uh, I forgot about this. So when my boss left, he was like, "Do you guys need the internet?" I was like, "No." Oh. <laughs> so it's for show. I mean, technically, you I have could... to take the Starlink outside. Yeah. So we have a Starlink in here, and that's our internet for this office. But the problem is, you have to find the most optimal space to put it. That sucks. Which we found it here. Okay. But it's uh, it's very particular. Like a couple inches is the difference between like internet and no internet. Wow. Mm. And in here, no internet. Bummer. Yeah. I mean, I could link to my phone but i don't want to thanks for leaving my spot open by the way yeah you're welcome yeah. anything yeah anything for you <laughs> it's actually my boss's spot but he left right before you got there mm. well no he didn't because i <laughs> that's when oh, i did met he? him oh there's currently a wall blocking <laughs> my view so i, I couldn't oh, okay. see where you actually parked yeah. but in my brain you guys occupy the same space <clears throat> usually emotionally both yep sexually yeah and by that i mean they both drive four landers mm. Four landers? Four runners. Nope. Four landers. Overlanding vehicles. Uh, all of them are wrong. More or less. They're four, four runners. Well, no, he doesn't have four runners. You know what? This is stupid. Let's move on. Yeah. Don't talk <clears> about <throat> shit you don't know about, Jeff. Yeah. 
So you want to talk cars now? I don't. I mean, no, we, I won't, we won't do that. We won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> do it when you have something to say. Okay, uh, I guess not. There's not nothing to be said. <laughs> All right, cool. Moving on. So that's what you just learned what a scoby is. Yeah, I did not. Is that like a thing that just kombucha is all made out of? That's the base of yeah. kombucha. You put bacteria. You bacteria. You put tea and sugar in a jar with scoby, and like the scoby eats the sugar and ferments the tea and shits so out. You get, mm-hmm. Yeah. And, wow. Mm-hmm. So you get kombucha. Basically, the so same we're as trying how to you make brew, beer. We're trying to brew our own. True. But mm-hmm. I told you. Do you like kombucha? Very much so. We yeah. are what you call uh, Bucha Boys. Nope. <gasps> Fuck. Didn't agree God with that. Damn it. <laughs> we are the Bucha Boys. Uh, <laughs> Damn. You know there's um, a graphic and a song right there. <laughs> just so you know. No. But I, I told you, end the get, show. get a jar. I said get a jar so I know you're serious about it and then I'll Nobody a sells a jar. What the, What do you mean? I went to Walmart. I went to Target. Oh, oh, I thought you meant no one sells jars of kombucha. You just meant people don't sell jars. jars. Mm-hmm. You're just We need like stupid. a nice big jar. You need a big jar. You can buy a big. Stupid. I've seen. Where a big do they jar. sell a big jar? Can, bro, oh my! I've been to uh, Walmart, Target, no, 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 Kroger. No. I went to Michaels. They did have it, but I'm not paying twenty dollars for this jar. Oh my fucking god, dude! You get so like they, you, you know you just that lied. That is five dollars worth of kombucha this right there. This is three fifty five. And Plus we would tax, make like four fifty. Yes. So five dollars. Yeah. Five bucks for that, <sighs> or you could buy a twenty dollar jar, wait a month, and have. I don't just know go how to big wa- the jar no, is. Walmart but, sells but more. the big. It'd be big. cheaper than that. Uh, like lemonade ones yes, with exactly. the dispenser? They do have that. Yeah. Would that work? It's not really airtight. I don't, yeah, it's not you, sealed at any point. No. You, gotta, you can you make it like airtight. A, uh, no, it would you, need you, some jerry. You put like even. a cheesecloth over it. Mm-hmm. Cheesecloth so it, has, it and put it that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Wait, it, do we want it to be airtight? When you bottle it, yes. But, not. but when it's actually fermenting, uh-huh. uh, I don't think so. Does it need I'd have oxygen? to double check. I remember whatever recipe I followed or whatever, like mm-hmm. it, there was a cheesecloth with like a rubber band around it for just for it. a while. But I think at some point you do seal it off because you got to like burp it every day. Mm. Let the, like a baby. Yeah, let the CO2 out or whatever the it gas. is. So is this a, a kombucha podcast now? I've never had kombucha, so I have no idea. You try Shut up! The first time? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's only bucha boys on this God podcast. Damn Let it. me try it. Pour some in that dirty cup. Oh, fuck no, there's coffee. Fuck you can just here. drink out of that if you want. Do you have HIV? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is it supposed to taste like? I'm not going to tell you. What, what flavor is it? This uh. is pineapple pink guava. It'll probably taste something like with that. With live probiotics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the half. You're about to right commit there. genocide by definition. Okay. Well, no, because it live doesn't it live in his uh, does. gut biome. I didn't know it was gonna be fuzzy. Oh, it's oh, fuzzy, yeah. all right. It's crunchy. I mean, it's good. Yeah. Doesn't it have alcohol in it? Like Super under a percent. Low. So in theory, you could get plastered off of kombucha. No, you'll like th- you'll get sick before you. You probably even get. You'll a buzz. run out of room in your whole body. <clears throat> But there are the some places that won't sell kombucha to people under 21. Well, there's certain wow. there's certain types. Like some is more alcoholic mm-hmm. to where you need to be Com- like. Is there hard kombucha? There is hard kombucha. Absolutely. Wow. Did, I could oh, see that being a thing. It's kind of cider. Mm-hmm. You know, um, mm-hmm. I like that actually because yeah. you know I'm a cider boy. Well, you should get a jar because apparently you have to get a jar, <sighs> and then maybe Jonah will sk- share some scoby with you. I will. Yeah, if you want to brew your own. I, then I, we can all be the kombucha boys. God no. We'll never be the kombucha boy. <laughs> You're already my kombucha boy. You can't escape. This is cry for help. Are we know. a kombucha podcast now? I love it. No, but the f- we could probably go back to the first time you asked that and cut there, and mm-hmm. then just cut mm-hmm. right to but wait. Reed's story that we got. Are we a kombucha podcast now? <laughs> God damn it, dude! <laughs> yeah, we can just cut all that. It's called yeah. options. Who's we? Who's we? Who's cutting anything? Not I can. Me. I'll teach Jonah premiere. <laughs> So that you don't have to Plot touch twist, it. this was my plan all along to get you guys to do some <laughs> fucking work. I've offered plenty of times. And then you fucked up by giving me the boss's parking spot right there. So now I feel like I shouldn't do anything but show up. It's just the fact that you have a laptop in front of you. That's fair. That's yeah. 100% right. Yeah. You seem like Head more... of the table. Yeah. That's, yeah. Your it's equipment. Like head of the table, yeah. my laptop. Office. This is my desk. It's a pretty small desk. This is a huge desk. 
there are three people at this desk, and we could eat a whole meal with three more people. So it's not a desk, it's a table. There is a difference. <laughs> How are we doing? Great. Why'd you check? Just wanted to check, that's all. Don't Let's they have a 30-minute record timer? Uh, yeah, or one of them does. I don't remember which one. That's why I set them both up. Mm. But it makes a noise, so we'll hear it. Mm, okay. So anyways, that kombu- that- Take two. That concludes the kombucha section of this podcast. Let's move on to step two. It will not be a reoccurring segment. <laughs> That's what you think, my kombucha <laughs> brother. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that. Fuck. I'm going to make this last as long as possible. <laughs> Dude. So anyway, since this is our first episode of the podcast- mm-hmm. Yes. I think we should um, just, like, get to get to know each other a little bit. You know, we should... Yeah, I've never fucking met you in my life. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, <laughs> you look like a registered sex offender. <laughs> it takes one mustache to talk to the... God damn the, it. <laughs> Dude, are, did you have a stroke today? <laughs> you are so fucking off. <laughs> We've done... It takes <laughs> one mustache We've done to... ten of these before... <laughs> That'll never see the light of we day. We literally just said you can't get drunk off him. You've had months, and you come in here like, are we the butcher boys? <laughs> Yo. This is the first time I've been zooted off the booch. Oh, man. <laughs> That's I am, re- I I am re- so much. reconsidering my investment in this. <laughs> yeah. This will be the first and only episode of yeah. Podcast. Call it Anonymous. whatever you want, because I'm not signing off on putting this out there. Well, it's too bad because we have the space now, so we have to release it, and we have to keep doing it. All right, this place uh, costs 1200 bucks a month. We went too big too soon. There, I said it. You're right. We, sh- we don't deserve this. You know, you're right. That's correct. <laughs> we don't deserve 100%. this. 100%. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> continue with what, what you were saying. Yes, we should let the audience get to know us a little bit. Okay, okay. right. Go, right. please lead, so, <clears throat> lead the way. Yeah, gotcha. Let's go. ah, fuck, dude. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you got. You damn. know, I I could have cut that. Now I can't. You're right. You should get an oil diffuser in here. Oh, I, that's that's on the list. Yeah. Yep. I just brought in the plant today. You this might needs need a two humidifier. for a space this big. Yeah. <clears throat> Unless you got like a nice humidifier. one, like a a nice like. Stationary one. Yeah, I probably get a few. And there's one for the house one. too. Uh, I I'd imagine they make them like pretty big, like a standalone thing for a space this big. Uh, Very cool. Yeah. So originally, I was gonna like write down some questions to ask us to mm-hmm. talk about ourselves. Yes. Right. I of course forgot. So instead, ah, oh, Jeff. That sucks, dude. Well, you at least remember one of them though. No, I didn't forget the questions. I forgot to make the questions. Oh, that just means you're lazy. (laughs) That's like ten times worse. Look, I just got off work. All right? It's been a whole day. It doesn't look like it. (laughs) Is that how you go to work? (laughs) I should have worn a coffee stretcher. (laughs) But yeah. Sorry about that cut. I just had to go refresh my coffee. But we're here on the same exact day at the same exact time. Mm -hmm. So questions, like we said. In different outfits. What are you talking about? Wardrobe change. Oh, yeah. I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. Neither do I. You've been wearing that the whole time. I've been wearing this since I've been the day I've been co- and came out of the room. I've Remember we this. said we were going to match colors? It was like a whole thing. We had a memo. It was a discussion. Hey, don't overdo it. Oh, I forgot to start the timer. There you go. Um, and it, Shut up. <laughs> Who's the producer of this podcast? I, I'm just telling you. You might not want to overdo it. I'm just telling you. That's yeah. your go-to? <laughs> <laughs> really? That's the best he's got. I learned it from watching you, Dad. <laughs> I don't do that. Yes, you do. You I do don't it. do that. You ever. do that all the time, I've but never... only to me, <laughs> so that no one believes you <laughs> when you tell them. <laughs> I can't say I've never been around Jonah. Where Before, he's yeah, can you even imagine me doing that? Before we get into no. questions, no. I did hear a story uh, from some comedian. Okay, and he was like, "Yeah, I was at the Streamies or something, the VidCon streamies. or something, one of those." And he was like, "I was in the green room hanging out, and then Rhett and Link." Uh, of Good Mythical Morning yes. fame. Big fans. Big fans. Big, sorry, John. Mm. Big fans. Big fans. Big, Big fans. fans. Yeah, you know, I was, I was on. I was at, hey, I was actually at Shut up. Good Mythical Shut Evening. Up. That's true. And he was. somebody decided to leave before it didn't oh, stream. Oh so, fucking God. <laughs> who's the real fan? <laughs> <laughs> I stuck it out even when the stream wasn't up. I was sitting there waiting, just looking at the whatever 
fucking shit was on It's the funny because that's in the future. But anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I was hanging out in the green room, and then Rhett and Link walked out, and they both just whipped their dicks out and said, nobody's ever going to believe you. Who said that? <laughs> what I, don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was like Tom or somebody. Like one of those. Just gonna, I thought Tom, Tom said that recently, Segura, but it obviously. wasn't. Okay, they, for the people. It wasn't. They uh, know who Tom is. <laughs> they Damn, don't. I don't know. <laughs> They're listening to a podcast of three white men. Uh, they know who Tom fair. Segura that's is. That's fair. Right. I renounce my statement. Thank you. Anyway. Do you know Tom? Nope. You know, uh, oh, we got to educate you. Yeah. If we're going to keep doing this podcast together. <laughs> right. I mean, at the moment, no episode is out. So actually, well, it's the first episode, oh, so obviously, I forgot. Not. it's the first episode. I yeah. forgot, I forgot. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, we shot some testers. Sorry, so it guys, gets confusing. we're still, you know, still yeah, we're rusting. We're, we're trying, rusting. To, <laughs> trying to figure it out. I'm trying to lubricate the machine here. Yeah. So anyway, like we like we said, like we said about two seconds ago, yeah. we're going to uh, ask some questions to get the audience to know a little bit about ourselves, right. introduce ourselves. Yes. All right. So I've prepared some personal questions that I'm also happy to answer, but I will get you all's answers first. Personal? Uh, personal. Why? Wow, just general question. Here we go. They're not personal. Okay. Number one, DP in the shower. Mmm. Starting yeah. spicy. Yeah. You pee in our shower? Yep. Uh, not not every time I take a shower. Not often, but. Here's the thing. Pools, showers. I'm there for it. Yeah. Pools. All right. All yeah. right. All right. What kind of pool? The- all right. Any kind of pool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm any with kind you. of pool. I'll pee in any water. Damn. Is that water in your cup? There's but pee in it now. You got to think. <laughs> I a little... disagree with that statement that you just said. Well, I do. I do pee in pools and showers. So what is what is your pee uh, procedure? I love to pee in the shower. Okay. Yes? Okay. You got me. I do not like peeing in the pool. Why? Chlorine. Why? What about it? In the weenie hole. Is that? Does it hurt you? It hurt. You have a sensitive weenie hole. Yes. Really? Sensitive like weenie. it yeah, hurts a, to pee in a pool. As a child, I have a very traumatic experience of peeing in the pool right. and having sharp chemical pain on my wiener, and I was like, I'm never peeing in the fucking pool again. Is that like chemi- chemically sounding? Uh, what do you mean? It is in a way. You don't know what sounding is? Sound? I have an idea. I have an idea. Hey, Reed. Yep. Google sounding. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here we go. It's his computer. You have nothing to lose. It's on my work Wi-Fi, too. (laughs) You're on thin ice. (laughs) Between the credit card. The credit card. (laughs) You're... Oh, wow. All right. Here we go. No, no. That's medical. That's medical. Oh, okay. WebMD does not have the correct... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Mm-hmm. 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 Look up sounding... Urban Dictionary. There you go. Sounding, I'm not loading the page loading. Sounding is the act of inserting a metal rod <laughs> into right your one. urethra. Oh boy, oh boy. Chemical Tubes sounding. are meant to be used Chemical medically, sounding. but some people figured out that they experience sexual pleasure from the act. Um, I can confidently say that that's not me. I didn't say it's what you like, I just said it's what you did but it happened. chemically. It happened. That is true. Yeah, yep. so you that is true. What about the ocean? Salt, Everybody can pee in the ocean. I, I think everyone can well, pee in the not, salt. Everybody can pee in the ocean. Do you not get like the salt you get, in your pee-pee? Yeah, it's not the same thing. I didn't pee in the ocean as a child, and I don't have So it's because you had a child pee-pee that was, like, weak and so Yes. When was, when now was I have that? a man pee Now your man pee-pee <laughs> can pee wherever it wants yeah. in any chemicals. <laughs> so you can pee in a, in a chlorine pool now, but you choose not to because of past trauma. Exactly. Huh. Exactly. I think it's time we give you some uh, exposure therapy okay. and get you over this. You just have to. Yeah. I, I'm just consistent. I'm just gonna pull out a cup of chlorinated water, <laughs> and you just right, dip guys, and we're, pee. We're peeing live on the podcast. Plot twist: It's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Burning hot coffee. Yeah. But now you can't feel the chlorine anymore. We're creating or new, anything, new trauma. Ever. Get over your old trauma by creating new trauma. If it wasn't clear, I also pee in the shower as well as pools. Um, the ocean, but caveat, I only pee in natural bodies of water with my pee-pee outside of the water. So you... Why? What? Because you ever see the River Monsters episode where the little oh, catfish goes up yeah, the yeah, dude, I did see that uh-huh. shit. I heard about it. And apparently there's stuff in the ocean that does that too. So mm. what I do, I keep my bathing suit on. I wade into the water until That's it's like... That's not from peeing in the water. Right though. above... Yeah, it is. It follows the urethra stream. Why would it 
do that. Because it smells something different mm -hmm. and it follows it. And then now you have a parasite in your mm -hmm. penis. And the only way to get it out is to rip that. And you, you best believe that sucker got spikes that's against the grain. Barbed. Against the grain. Yeah. Oh. The whole inside of your urethra just degloves the inside ah! of your penis. Ugh. Know what I'm doing Friday. Jeez. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> So I go into the water <laughs> until oh, it's Friday, above the, the knee. So the water level is above the knee. PP still well out. Yep. Yeah, assuming I'm not excited. But yeah. um, so then what I. What natural bodies of water are you in? That's not the beach where there's other people. The, what, what does it matter if there's other people? Uh, the law. I have my swimming trunks on. Oh, I wasn't uh, sure if you're doing like an elementary school boy who no, puts like his whole yeah, no. drops his pants down to the floor. Yeah. If I'm in a lake or the ocean. I frequent the lakes. I uh, go to the waters above my knee, yep. and I pee down my legs into the water. And mm. then immediately after I'm done peeing and my urethra is closed back up, you dunk and you clean. Damn. Okay. I, I, so I've had like a, in the back of my mind, like a subtle fear about that, like the something going up. Now it's an now active it's a fear. Real fear. It's real. Yeah, I didn't. You're I welcome. never heard that it's because like you. You should pee actually watch the River Monster episode. That's the whole reason it happens. Damn. Yep. It's is that a guy little... still alive? Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the show's it? still going mm -hmm. on. Oh, I thought he caught all the fish. <laughs> well, he's only caught one of every fish. Yeah. There's uh, more that must be he's stopped. He's like a Pokemon trainer, but like monsters What's he do fish. with them? Uh, he saves them, puts them in a Pokeball, so next time he goes to fight another he's fish. He's working he... on the world's greatest fish tank. Oh. Yeah. The problem is they keep eating each other. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't right. figured it's that part out yet. the biggest predators. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. Soon there will only be one, and they will inherit the earth. Right. Yes. Agreed. Who'd you vote for? I didn't vote. Of uh, this newest election? The most recent election. Um, presidential, of course. Okay, I was going to be like, well, I did technically vote my county election. No, presidential only. Um, take a guess. You definitely voted for the third party candidate. You're right. I know. I fucking that's, did. That's, vote a, that's for a very you thing to candidate. do. Nice. I, of course, voted for Barack Obama for a third time. Anyway. Nice. The proper third candidate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, all that was just for a get out joke. Uh, favorite podcast? Ooh. Okay. I have two. You, that's not how favorite works. It's. You can say them favorites. both, but you have to rank them. Okay. One has Ooh, to be above the ah, other. You know. If any of the audience members are familiar with the McElroy brothers, this will be... James McElroy? No. That would be funny, though. <laughs> the Adventure Zone is my favorite podcast. Haven't is that heard a D&D &D podcast? It is, in fact, a D&D &D podcast, and it is a wonderful podcast that's funny, emotional, Highs and lows, D and D oriented, and a great story. Guys, let us know if you want us to do a D and D podcast. Please, I would love it. I'll Reed DM. is a yeah. great DM, and uh, Joan and I have never played D and D, but, but I already made my character. And we've you already, did make a character. we've already trade well. TM 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 trademark. <laughs> Don't tell them what it is. We didn't actually trademark it yet. Uh, we we'll bleep that. We'll, we'll bleep, bleep that. that. I like when you guys create work for me. That's great. Yeah. Um, I told you, any you know how good I am. You know, I, I can edit. <laughs> I can do it, Coach. Put me in. <laughs> just, just tell me what to do. Yeah, Jonah's version of edit when he says, "Okay, we'll cut that." Brings like a hatchet to the computer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> We've been through like 15 laptops, and no, that's why no, I know. That's why we don't have an episode out. Yeah. Yep. That's been the problem. Well, your computer broke my table saw, so. <laughs> Uh, stupid. What's your second one, Reed? Uh, again, from the McElroy brothers is uh, my brother and mother, my brother and me. I remember you telling me about that. It is, uh, you know, we're just doing free advertisement, I guess, for these guys. That's good because then they'll see it, they'll like it, and then they'll talk about us. That on is their true. Podcast. Uh, mm. It is quite literally a name. Three brothers that are goofy as hell and are funny as hell. Cool. Like us. And check that out. Yeah. Except we're not brothers. Or funny. Eh, that's up to them. <laughs> right. 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 Joda. Uh, f my favorite podcast. Mm -hmm. If you went so, and three I want answers. one. There's only an Th <laughs> <laughs> three answers. If you if you went like my most listened to, it'd be um, not our podcast. It's a uh, <laughs> yeah. I did guarantee I you haven't listened to any of it. Like, well, given that I it's have, the first episode, it yeah, would be really hard for you that to be. Um, a what was it? I'm quitting alcohol. Mm, Australian yeah. comedian uh, David Boyle. 
Um, Those are like three minute podcasts, though. No, no, they're like five to fifteen, but he does it every day. It's like a long and I've song. I pretty much listened to all of them for like <laughs> three years. You're just listening to long songs. He's just leaving podcasts. songs. He's, He's just singing. leaving a voicemail to the whole world. I know. And sometimes all it is. that's all, that's all you want. You just want you want a friend. Fine. Next. So is there something we need to talk about here? Jimmy? My favorite in terms of like <laughs> mentally stimulating, Huberman Lab. Mm, uh, never heard of it. Yeah, dude. I the, technically haven't heard of it. He's like a professor, and he has a lab at like uh, Stanford, Whoa. something. Uh, talks about like neuroscience and all that shit. It's pretty cool. That's cool. Favorite in terms of like making me laugh the most, uh, Two Bears, and or this past weekend, Theo Vaughn. Mm. So those, so those are, those are four. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe. Mm. And I got shivered too. Yeah. Okay, well, I have three. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. You get one. If yeah, you, be a, no, you get okay. one. I do have one answer, but I would like to give two uh, runner-ups. What's your one answer? Well, I'm, obviously, I'm going to do the runner-ups wait, wait, wait. first. Your number one, mm-hmm. H3. Wrong. Ooh, really? Is that, that is a, one of the one two runner-ups. Runner yeah. Is the H3 podcast one of the greatest podcasts of all great time? Podcast. Seven, a week great ago, podcast. you said H3 was your number one. I thought about it. Changed my mind. Bad friends. No. Ooh, I like bad friends. They're great podcast. Funny. Not the runner-up. Definitely top ten, for sure, but... Not some the top rooster three. teeth thing. Uh, there's some up there for sure. Sh- oh, actually, uh, let me get my other other runner up is. Can I just finish ear answering your question? Ear biscuits, Jeff. Ear biscuits, yes. That's my your... two runner ups are uh, H3 and Ear biscuits, okay. two of the nice. greatest podcasts of all time. Yep. But unfortunately, they are not as good as the greatest podcast of all time. <laughs> face. What is face? Oh, my friend. What is friend? Face? I have to send you face. It's a Rooster Teeth podcast. Of course. It is. It's got uh, not the Rooster Teeth podcast. It's a Rooster Teeth okay, podcast. Understood. Mm-hmm. It's this guy from England, this guy from America, recovering alcoholic, and this guy from Canada. And uh, the whole thing is them just bullshitting, what but are their they names? like uh, Jeff with a G, uh, Gavin with and a G. with a G, and Andrew. What are the, what are the recovering alcoholic? Jeff. Canadian. Andrew. And who's the other one? Gavin. British. B- British. Interesting. Yep. Recovering Good alcoholic. Mm-hmm. I guess I'd prob- Wait, probably. Wait, did you just call me a recovering alcoholic? <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> oh, are you are you putting it in perspective? One of us. I, who would you be Canadian or would I be Canadian? And the I other think one, that if, if the other one has to be British. I think that you're more Canadian than I am simply right. because of the manual labor aspect. Mm. They don't really do anything up there. I just think of Canadians as uh, flannel wearing bearded men with uh, axes. And Reed is definitely the British one. Right. Yeah, for sure. Huh. Yeah, that, you get to be Andrew. Honestly, though, in real life, because Jeff is so much more than a recovering alcoholic. He's a hilarious uh, founder of Rooster Teeth. Since when do you talk about yourself in the third person? Extremely accomplished. <laughs> anyway, you would be Jeff, just personality-wise. Okay. You're definitely uh, okay. Jeff. Well, I'll give and it. Give I it a am Andrew Panton. Okay. He responded to me on Twitter once. Wow. Nice. I sent him a guitar dub. Dang. Get him on the oh, podcast. Cool. He liked it. Cool. Get him on here. That's my thing for first guest. I think he's reachable. Really? I think it's possible. Okay. Yep. All right. See what you can do. If you're listening, <laughs> face. Love you guys. I'm also the guy that offered to cut all the baseball bats for free, and uh, we didn't <gasps> do it, but I was going to do it. That was my idea. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, yeah, Dang. <laughs> uh, That was so long ago. Yeah. Holy shit. That was like before we lived together, right? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I was gonna get you to help me. You had the saw. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. talked about it. Mm-hmm. Talked mm-hmm. about it. So just Man, to get that would have been great. Yeah, I know. The whole there was a whole bit where they were selling bat knobs, but only the knobs. Okay. But they their merch company bought bats. I'm like, no, we can only sell the knobs. <laughs> so you so had to cut the bats. They were like, how are we gonna cut all the bats? So I was like, hey, I'll cut. I'll them. cut all the bats. <laughs> For free. I wish, I wish we had the chance. The I know, man. Damn. It was like, nice. what was it, like 10,000 bats or something God like that? God damn. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's, That's insane. It probably we're wasn't that, that much. I remember it being enough. We did the math, and we were like, it's going to take like a week of straight work. It was before we had full-time jobs. No, it wasn't <laughs> that much. It was enough to be like a lot of work, yeah. but not enough to be like. It was definitely a, a couple it was or a few days. achievable, for sure. Damn. Understood. Yep. Well, if they ever run into the, the offer's still on the table. Absolutely still on the want. table. Matter of fact, next time you order bat knobs, just order the bats. Got you. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I could use some bats. We'll make content knobs. out of it, too, and you can have it. Just tag us. <laughs> next question. Next question. <clears throat> Favorite band or artist? Oh, man. 
Uh, I mean, the ones that comes to my mind is, of course, Neck Deep, Pop Punk mm. Band. You Gotta love Wales, it. Gotta know. love it. Pretty classic. Of course. Uh, of course. I do love Architects as well, the metal band. Mm. They're really, really It's a little good. heavy for me. You're just, you're just a mushy boy. I am a mushy boy. Do you remember that? Squish, squish. Do you remember that in college? <laughs> what? Do you remember that bit in college? Did they call me a mushy boy? I called you in, a mushy boy in college for like a year. I could see you doing that. It was... <laughs> I was kind of a dick, because, like, you're Jeff, and we were sitting next to each other in, like, our audio classes, like, trying to learn and shit, and I'd be like... <laughs> trying to learn and shit? <laughs> Who's a mushy boy? Keep in mind, this was when I was fat. <laughs> Jeff, a, oh, yeah. Jeff a mushy boy. <laughs> I was a dick. That is pretty mean. Uh, yeah. It's but, okay, though, because I loved it. And, you was know... Was that inspiration, though, for you to lose weight? No, I think it was... Uh, you did lose a lot of weight. Good job. I did. Thank you. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank what you. was your heaviest? Heaviest? Yeah. 190. What do you know? 155. Wow. Really? I mm-hmm. weigh more than you. Damn. I think I lost it in like chunks, though. It was like 10, yeah, then yeah. another 15, nice. whatever. I'm trying to get down up. to 165 right now. Nice. What I'm at 171. Huh. Doable. It's not bad, though. You look good. What's your Thank heaviest, you. though? 171. Really? I've never. Yeah. I've never been over 170 in my life. Yeah, I uh, yeah. I broke two hundred. Uh, I was two hundred five in my heaviest. There's some big height differences here, though. Oh no, I'm not like complaining. Oh, but I got up there. You also have some actual muscle because you have like a real world job where you like do work. Yeah, I'm really filling out this shirt. If you couldn't tell, H and M. If we if you need a sponsor. Hmm. Thank you <laughs> so much for that. He's been trying to do that for all H&M? day. H and M. All hmm? day. <laughs> Jonah, favorite band or artist? Um, right now, right now, favorite artist, Tyler Childers, I think. It's like folk. Is that the oh singer the folk and guy? Stuff. Just really, uh, really into it right now. Listen to it a lot. Um, that's favorite right now. Mm. Car seat headrest. Favorite probably of all overall. time. Overall, mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, Reed, uh, I'm assuming Neck Deep was like your favorite of all time. Yeah, that's your favorite, like somebody you listen to right now. Right a lot. now, um, simply because he put out a new album. Is said this guy EDM dude. Mm. Uh, he just put out a new new record. Mm. He's been like on and off with singles since like tw- well, he put his last album out in like 2017 or 2018. I don't know. Check Spotify, but he's only been putting singles out since, nice. and he just put out a fat record, and it's really good. And it's wild because one of the songs comes in like an intro of like some synchronized like heavy stuff and uh-huh. this is an edm dude uh-huh. who then transitions that to like an edm drop uh-huh. wild nice wild nice nice yeah jeff new answer stan atlantic oh good band are you kidding me i know them not you too <laughs> yeah so my I favorite stan right band. now is stan atlantic stan atlantic is good jonah hates them i've only really? so what? much why here's the thing they're so good, though, right? <laughs> They're good. So good. Jeff's only played me like two or three songs. I played you a whole album. I, no, you didn't. We listened to the whole album There's on the way no to Red way Robin. I would have let you, you play a whole Robin? album. Nice. Yeah, we did. Is we Red were Robin? coming from Norfolk to the Red Robin in Chesapeake, and you were like, "Jeff gets yeah, aux. and I said, bef- "I said three songs in, we gotta change this." And Why? then I said, "No, I, d- I didn't like it. I didn't like it." Did I don't Jeff, remember? I will I, listen to a whole album with you. And please, I'll, 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 they please. got some, they got some good stuff, man. I, I'll ride alone. <laughs> favorite uh, favorite track? Ooh, Coffee Talk. It's an old one. You mean uh, Coffee at Midnight? Coffee at Midnight. Mm. That's what it is. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah real mm. band. I'm a big fan of. Shh. Haven't heard that one. Is that from a new record? It's from Pink Elephant, which I think is their best album. I don't. I don't think I know that. Song. Ah, fake fan. Anyway, it's not. They're not my top ten, but they're fair really enough. Good. Fair enough. Mm. I uh, I've like been like I just put on the whole album, which I never do. I never listen to a whole album, but I'll just cycle through each one of their albums oh, back wow. to back. So nice. you're a misogynist. Yes, he hates no, female fronted bands. That's exactly no, no, what no, it no, is. No, 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 no. I have no defense, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, no? no, 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 no. Reed, guess my favorite of all time. Uh, your favorite of all time? Is this something I should know? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Why does nothing come into my mind? Oh, um, think of tattoos Paramore. that. Ju- yeah, okay, there you yes. go. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. The two. Do we want to tell the story of 
the, our, the my Paramore concert experience? Sure, go ahead. I get a text and or call or something from Jeff. Wait, we shouldn't? Because that's a really good story on both ends. That is. We should save that. Tune nice. in for, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call that episode the Paramore story. I will say, teaser, it involves happenstance, Haley Williams, and urine. Anyways. Yes. Um, you were at the urine one? Shh. Great song. You yeah. said urine. <laughs> All I said was urine also. You're in my podcast, and now we're going to ask the question that of... <laughs> That's gonna be my bit. <laughs> yeah, Jeff says anything. You want to talk sucks. after this read about? <laughs> yeah, we'll cut Jeff out of here. This we could just send him the stuff. My to office. Edit this is my. T- How are you gonna get in the office? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a machete. <laughs> I met Cade. That's true. Like, Cade, I got a Toyota also. Oh, you're so a- does this guy. Yeah. You let us Next question, office, Jeff. Go on. Enneagram number. Ooh. I won't go. I won't go first. I've been going first on all the questions. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Enneagram? Hmm? I thought it was that, Enneagram. That holds, that You're right, holds it is more Enneagram. a warm warm little spot in my heart because mm-hmm. I had never heard of it. And then for some reason, our friend group and uh, like the church we were at at the time. I think I started it because Rhett and Link did their episode about yeah, it. That was a great episode. They did. And apparently it's a big thing in the like the church world. It's oh, like huge. A big... yeah. yeah, but like our that church and stuff got really into it and uh, our friend group at the time... Like got really I don't into think I was it, in that and it, it was a thing time. for like a month. I don't remember. I was friends with you, kind of getting to know you. I think yeah. you were around, but yeah. I don't think you were part of the conversation because you didn't come yeah. to Quirks all the time. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, it was like a big thing for like a month, and uh, then it just disappeared off the face of the earth. So I don't remember what the. the you don't remember your number? I I think I'm a nine, but doesn't it oh. sway one way or the yeah, other? Yeah, you're a nine one leaning. Or one, whatever Ooh. your secondary is. Yeah, I don't remember what um, the name is or what it means anymore. Wait, no. It was or a long flip time that, ago. Flip that, flip that. You're a one. No, I'm, 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 I'm a nine. A, really? I'm a pull nine. up a numbers real quick. I think a nine is like Peacemaker or something. Okay. Mm. Or that might be it. I, I know my number. I just don't, I want a better descriptor of it. Jeff, what, what, uh, what number were you? I am a three. The Entertainer. Mm. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it yeah. does. Makes a lot of sense. A lot of my knowledge based off this topic was from the Rent and Link episode. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're right. Nine, the peacemaker. That is right. you. Give Meaning descri- one. Give a descriptor of nine. <clears throat> Nines are defined by their desire to maintain a sense of inner peace and harmony and to avoid conflict or other emotional disturbances. They're typically agreeable, calm, and easy to be around. Mm. Nines rarely rock the boat, but they can be stubborn. That does sound like Jonah. Mm. Yeah. I Shall think we? I, I passed that test when wow. I took it. Wow. Enneagram three. Yep. Give us a descriptor number three. And I do want to say. No? I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Rhett McLaughlin, also an Enneagram three. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> Threes are defined by their desire to be significant and be, to distinguish themselves through their achievements. Mm-hmm. To others, Sounds threes like, yeah. appear confident, ambitious, and goal oriented. They are unsure of their inner self-worth and look for validation through their accomplishments. I think this is why Jeff does his sober weeks. Because he wants to set a goal that he knows he can achieve for mm. some form of recognition. Mm-hmm. I will say the reason I started doing sober weeks is because Jonah had the idea. But that is why I latched on to it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I was doing sober months. And now that's then, a bit much. I did Jeff. one too. Yeah, kind of. And and then, <laughs> um yeah, but then you were Don't like, even joke. Then, I was fully like, sober man, for was, all of April and was, lost like 20 pounds. No, it was good. It was good. Uh, 15, but who's counting? <laughs> yeah, um, well, I guess you can round up. Yeah. Um, it was it was fun, though. Reed, what's know. your number? <laughs> I you. am a number Promise? seven. Number seven. I am number seven. Wait, seven is... Um, I don't fucking know. Jeff, when you have it, go ahead and give it a read. Sevens are defined by their desire to experience everything life has to offer while avoiding pain and boredom. They appear to others to be lively, fun-loving, and hedonistic. Sevens are often hedonistic. Hedonistic, yeah. Living for the moment right now, uh, just for immediate pleasure. So just whatever right now makes you happy. I would not describe you as negative connotation that goes. It is very negative, especially when it comes to religious connotations. And Mm. that's why. I quit Christianity. Sorry about that. Would you that. say you deconstructed? I did deconstruct. You only did it because nice. Red and Link did it and thought it was cool. That I mean, they. That's how you make it. In they this definitely. Uh, 
I'm going to start selling t-shirts that say, I survived Rhett and Link's deconstruction. <laughs> so everybody, all the Rhett and Link Ooh. fans who listen to that yeah. and are still Christians. I like yeah, that. The, that'd be armored. That is actually what, a good idea. Well, Rhett and Link will get a collab. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. That was a great podcast. Um, they appear to others to be like, I know, and hedonistic. Sevens are often very busy people who bounce from one activity to another in their quest to squeeze every possible bit of enjoyment yeah. out of life. That's true. It's fucking hard to keep you anywhere for too long. Yeah. I have somewhere to be yeah. at uh, 8 o'clock, which is true. That's why if we're talking fast, it's because we're trying to get everything in before Reed has to leave us, because he's not invested in the podcast like we are. Oh, yep. sure. Yep. Last one here, first one to leave, just saying. <laughs> mm. That's my mantra. But yeah, I think we should uh, do another episode at some point and uh, talk more about our Enneagrams. We and should. Specifically Make a note of that. That's how good. how they relate to our um, lives. Cool. Yeah, I could and go, that can be a serious deep, one. I could go deep. Yeah, on we could go for deep. Real. It'll be great. I'd have to do some research. I forgot all yeah. of it. We'll research our thing and talk about like specific parts in our life. Mm. Yeah. I love when we have meetings on mic. That's yeah, that's good. Next mm. question. The next question. Man, this is a great first episode. I got to say, the vibes are right. They are. I feel They're like good. we've been doing this for a while. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, Body count. Mine is two. Jonah? Two also. That's okay, Jeff. You'll get there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, you have to. If you like half the projects you're working on right now, <laughs> multiple people have told you like you have to. <laughs> I am working on some, that number. some projects that involve being open about your childhood sex life. Let's just leave it at that. Childhood. Whoa. Then why is the number so low? <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Some people, <laughs> some people get in really long relationships and then they yeah. end, yeah. and then dating is hard. But um, uh, how much money do you make? I make. F- nice, Jonah. Uh, I'm paid hourly, so it, it's different. But like on average, yeah, I'd say. Mm-hmm. But pre-tax. Are we including all sources, not just your main job? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, every after everything, probably close to. Before tax. Nice. I make about, considering all sources, right around. Nice. I'm the poorest one here. But you have the nicest car. Yeah, so. yeah financially yeah, irresponsible yeah. decisions, people. Yeah. Just kidding, where I live is really cheap. Uh, I think I'm just nice. going to bleep all the numbers on that, but have us say it and then talk about it. That's good. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. Do you, actually, you, please you need do. a transient? Yeah, I'm not actually going to say what we That'd make. Classy. <laughs> do you need a transient for that? What? Do you need a transient? Please, yeah. Thank you. Cool. Uh, it's called a slate, by the way. I thought you worked in film. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Um, last thing that you looked up on YouTube. Ooh, I'll tell you right now. Let's all pull out We're on the phone on too. Phones. Or I'll, do you want me to do phone or computer? Um, it should phone. I mean, I see all your YouTube shit on the computer. It's it's boring. It's just podcasts. You're boring. <laughs> boring. <laughs> this is gonna make me seem like a fucking. Um, well, the last nerd. thing that I searched on Google was fetal mm. alcohol syndrome. We'll get to that. Um, what's the last thing you said? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jeff made me do it. You gotta show that to the camera. They won't see that. Uh, send me a screenshot. I can put it up. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll tell you why that happened okay. off mic. Okay. Right. Uh, so, Reed, what's the last thing you looked up on YouTube? The, uh, we shouldn't be able to, we shouldn't play it because copyright. Damn, right? I have some yeah, dicey right stuff in here. Just My <laughs> last one is... YouTube, um, Jonah, not I'm Google. trying to find YouTube. I don't know how to... You don't have the app? No. You're such an old Remember how man. I'm like on hiatus right now? You don't right have now? the YouTube app? No. This I'm on hiatus from YouTube. He's on the wagon, remember? Oh, I forgot. No, no I'm whatever. on. I got a the, lot. The, new, the most recent thing from YouTube that I searched was My Hero Academia, mm. English dub, All Might versus Nomu, plus Ultra. <laughs> That's so much worse than just episode two. <laughs> <laughs> just, no, and it was just the fight scene. I will say, great show. Yeah. Great show. That scene especially. I typically watch it in sub, but I was showing a friend who watched it in mm. dub, so that's... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also am a fan of sub. Sunday night. How many <laughs> How many ounces are in a bottle of wine? <laughs> Is that you looked that up on you, YouTube? While you were drinking all the no, bottles no, no, of wine? No, just, I'm, I'm trying to find YouTube, but I'm in my like search history. All right. Just Why not just look up YouTube? Yeah, just look up YouTube. Oh. This is, he's such a boomer. <clears throat> Did you find it? <laughs> now, how do I find what the last thing I saw? Oh was? my Type, god! Type, just tap in the search bar. It should pop up. Oh, slow, <laughs> slow dancing in a burning room, backing track. 
Oh. <laughs> I was playing guitar. Nice. I hate that. Yeah. Nice. And you were going to solo over top of it? I did, yeah. I was trying That's what to he like... does for hours when I'm not home. Really? Yeah. And then before that, backing track. A lot of backing Gary tracks. Gary Moore blues back, backing track. Top Gun theme song. Whoa. That's Shuffle fine. blues I'll give backing track. All right, yours is lame. It Mine is lame. I thought I had some interesting stuff on there. Is Zandera. What is that? What is that? That is my boss's YouTube channel, all about overlanding. Oh, and actually, stuff. that's pretty cool. I, when yeah. you sent me that, I watched like three videos in a row. Yeah. So if you're into trucks or overlanding or stuff, Don't check out. Yeah. Hey. This is his office. Uh, okay. <laughs> check out Zendera. So this is to like do it. a segment on uh, Rets. Or not Rets. Uh, Links. Oh, one yeah. With his dad. Shout out o- to almost sponsors. Almost <laughs> yeah. sponsors. Yep. Yeah. Cut down to Pete's Barbecue and Grill and just have a big old time. We'll do some shagging. Just shagging and swing on into oh, it. And if I'm there, I might be having a, 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 a one cold beer. <laughs> it's so good. Next mm. question. Oh, yeah. Oh. Everybody go to Safari. Going to Safari. Open a new tab. I go use to... the Google Chrome app. Um, that's acceptable. Is yeah. this one of those autofill things? Yep. All right. Uh, everybody let me know when you are in the search bar. I'm in the search bar. All right. Okay. Now, ready? Yep. Type in the letter P. Priority <laughs> Priority Toyota of Chesapeake. Nice. PBS Kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever been on that. Uh, sh- oh. Sure. Oh, sh- <laughs> oh, I've never been Hold on that. I'm, I'm hitting. <laughs> I've never been on this before. That is the most. I don't have any like so much sussier than what I was trying to get (laughs) out of you. That That is is so much worse. What are you going on there for? By the way, mine is School of Performing Arts. Nature Walk. So guys, we're all clean. Hold on, that's not fair. That's not fair. Give me another letter. (laughs) That's not how this works. (laughs) Give me another letter. (laughs) Next question. Next, Next question. Where do you keep your toothbrush? I keep my toothbrush in a uh, designated glass bowl that is divided by toothbrush holder and uh, toothpaste holder. Nice. Where is that? Nice. In the bathroom. Nice. It's always in the bathroom? Always in the bathroom. The bathroom where you poop? Yes. The bathroom that has the poop follicles floating all around the... Yes. And you're just okay with that? I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know why? Because I used to drink well water. And it's the same concept. It makes you stronger. Jonah. Don't applaud. I know where you keep your that toothbrush. That was a good cut. It was, for, it was a slate. <laughs> it was my, my yeah. transient. Yeah. It was your transient. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. called a slate. I, I'm concerned about the PBS thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah. I don't know where mm-hmm. that's from. Anyways. You and all of us all have to move on. The fact that okay. you keep backtracking is mm-hmm. making it You're the one bringing worse. it up. It's all the right. Barbra Streisand effect right now. All right. Where do you keep your toothpaste? I have your toothbrush, a, sorry. A Tupperware uh, in the bottom. It's half. a Chinese food container. It's, no, it's not. It's like, it's like essentially that kind of container, but they were purchased brand new, so like okay. meal prep mm. shit. Yeah. So I've got like my floss and toothpaste in the bottom part, and mm-hmm. I put the lid upside down and put my toothbrush on there. So you, you but keep... I I keep that in a drawer in my room because our bathroom is there's no space for an extra toothbrush. Wow. So I keep it's also it. a shared <clears throat> bathroom. Yeah. And as previously mentioned, I don't poop trust follicles the mm. all go around <laughs> th- the cleanest person in the house. Debatable. Yeah, we're pretty. I don't live. We're neck and neck. I don't live I'll give you that. Them. I keep my toothbrush. Yet. <laughs> I'm not going to. I live with Come a on, woman. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my toothbrush. <laughs> He says, oh, come on, I'm so sad though. <laughs> Who am I going to show my PBS oh, kids where's to? Your, where's your toothbrush? I think after, after this episode, we can have a good soundboard picked out. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Are you, you want to mount the soundboard? Can you do that? I, I can get, yeah, I can, I can sample. I love that. Love that for you. Perfect. My toothbrush is in a Ziploc bag. Mm, mm. Also debatable. What? Water. I dry my toothbrush. Oh, okay, there How? you go. On my towel? Mm, yeah. Where the poop particles are? <laughs> oh, got your yeah. fucking ass, completely, Jeff. Your, I know where your towel hangs up. You only have one towel, and that's okay. But I just bought a second one. It's always hanging up in the bathroom. Congratulations. I will say. Two feet from the toilet. Dude, you just... I, this is the best comeback 
of this podcast. I think so you far. have just like alerted me of something I've been doing wrong for a while. Yeah, and I you're am... trapping them in a Ziploc bag to grow. Oh, that's even worse. When we get home, I'm throwing away that tooth. You definitely had the worst I, I can say that Jonah's placement is the best of the three of us. That Ziploc bag also goes in my bottom drawer. I would I would keep I'm my still... toothbrush in the bathroom if just no I, I was in your situation. It's just there's shit everywhere in the bathroom. I don't want it mixed up with anything. Understood. Understood. Also, I'm not going to get into it, but yeah. yeah. Keep um, it in my room. Next question. Morning drink of choice. Um, Water. What's the... Uh, oh. <laughs> Do you mean not like, like drink drink? <laughs> hmm? Jonah, not drink drink? Like this alcoholic is, drink? This is yeah. our intervention. I had an answer. Whatever you want to say. Now, what's the um I can't remember the name, but uh Ooh. Uh, I got mine. It's like Irish or something. Bailey's? Uh yeah, or Irish, Irish, Irish coffee. coffee. Yeah. yeah, like if I'm gonna have alcohol in the coffee, morning. Coffee, cream, I, and I really like liquor. Got, this past Christmas, I really got into those. Oh yeah, we went to Bush Gardens. Yeah. We had them. Yeah, I just slept in every Dude. day. Well, like on Y'all break. Don't fucking invite me? Dickheads. Um and, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was my birthday. Mm. Again, dickhead. So you can't get mad at me either way. My actual drink of choice though in the morning. Yeah. Uh, we'll do alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Thermos. Apparently, since I'm surrounded by alcoholics. Well, if we're doing that, then um, hold on. Thermos. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thermos, sorry. half a tray of ice, thermos water, and uh, either just water or I'll throw like a liquid IV in there for a little flavor. Mm. Ooh, dude, the little flavor, like the flavor. That's when you had too many Irish coffees the day before. Yeah. Get that liquid yeah. IV going. Yeah. I like that. But that's the go-to. I, I don't like hot stuff in the morning anymore. Mm. I, don't, I want like something cold to until wake me up. Until it gets cold outside. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I, 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 it's, it's new. We'll update you all. It's when new, so yeah, we'll get back on On Jonah's that. drinking habits. Mine would be, of course, so I drink. The first thing I do when I get out of bed is I chug a lot of water. Mm. Because I'm dehydrated. Mm, Everybody, right. this is a PSA that uh, you should drink water in the morning because you just went eight hours without drinking anything. So your body is waking up very dehydrated. So for your health reasons, drink water in the morning. Yeah. I have a humidifier. I, oh, okay. Whatever. You just what <laughs> suck, sucking in the water that's going through mm-hmm. your body? I'm uh, 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 photosynthesizing water. Uh, yes, of course. Osmosis. Jones. Great movie. Osmosis Jones. Powerhouse of the cell. Mm. <laughs> My other drink controversial your alcoholic drink no no not yet not yet (laughs) that one's not gonna be controversial this is a controversial one Mm. spicy v8 i remember you saying this i have it every morning with my breakfast before i go to work and it's so fucking good it's so good i love it i go probably through like a bottle a week these are like them big boys i have it like literally seven days a week as a person who enjoys a little bit of spice in the morning I can understand that. I haven't had the spicy one. I haven't had a V8 in like years. I don't really like like that and uh, gazpacho, pretty similar. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He hates cold wise. soups. Oh, it, really? Mm-hmm. I, I really dislike it. Interesting. Yeah. I like a V8. V8 I wish is I technically it, not soup, but the consistency of soup. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's basically it's the same soup. like it's, tomato-y yeah. kind of like yeah. vegetable My uh, alcoholic <laughs> drink would be oh, probably a white Russian. In the morning. Mm-hmm. I haven't had that one. That is yet. thick for a morning drink. Yeah, but it's good. What? What is your it's problem? Not that thick for it's a morning. Th- drink. <laughs> when it's thick for everything, like it, it, in terms of thickness, uh-huh. morning is the most appropriate time to have it. What? That's when people get their creamer in their coffee. So a lot of people drink milk. Fuck those people. <laughs> yeah, as in half the ingredients of a white Russian. Yeah. Yeah. A bowl of cereal, milk. Dude, yeah. Morning really what are you is drinking the thickest for the time rest of, day? of the day. Alcohol, water. <laughs> That stuff Soda is, 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 is sparkling water. Just kombucha. tiny little. It's it's like all tiny very, little sticks. You know I like a lot of drinks. All not thick. So have a white have a white Russian. Look, you do have a white you, Russian. Yeah, have a white Russian at yep. six o'clock yeah. in the morning if that's what floats yep. your boat. Um, I'm not a fan. Your of turn, milk. Jeff. All right, I do like a white Russian on a cold night when you're Which inside. Does Bailey, Bailey's night. comes like with like a creamer in it, right? Yeah. Isn't that like yeah, yeah. yeah. it's sweetened yeah. for sure. Gotcha. That's um, good. My morning drink, of course, is black coffee. Uh-huh. Every morning, about a pot, but it's half cap. Are you one of those so people fine. that thinks that they're better than everybody because they drink black coffee? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you why because I never drank black coffee growing up. And then I met a good Are friend you sure? of ours. Huh? Nothing. Keep going. I met a friend of ours, Timothy Burley, mm-hmm. who we went to school with, and he Shout drank out black to coffee. Timmy. <laughs> Shout out to Timmy. Hope you like being married, oh, you man. jerk. 
Um, Have but, you talked uh, to him since uh, like the drought? Don't derail here? my story. <laughs> He's in a state where there's a drought right now. It's a national issue. We'll talk about this you later. Insensitive bastard. <laughs> yeah. I just saw him on Instagram. He was by a water fountain. So I don't know <laughs> oh, what you're talking man. about. <laughs> I will send you the picture. Oh, shit. I um, <laughs> we would always go to Starbucks together and get coffee, and he would get his black, and I would get mine with like cream and sugar in it and yep. stuff. Mm-hmm. And he would always make fun of me. So I trained myself to drink black coffee, and that now it's all like I drink. That sounds like toxic masculinity. Yeah. Right. I part of the reason I'm skinny. <laughs> That's oh, fair. I wasn't worried about it then. I was worried about being a man, but it helped me get skinny. There you go. All right. Next question. Next Wait, question. I didn't say my alcoholic drink. Next question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next question. No one needs to hear no, it. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Big Save wave. it for your next AA meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be like AA? We're trying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're finally on theme. I mean, of course we are. It's the first episode. I'm glad we're keeping it the theme. <laughs> um, what is a your Big drink? wave. Preferably with a, a big nice wave in the brunch. morning. Oh my yeah. god, that a nice sucks. Light beer. Mm. Mm. The orange crush is pretty good in the morning. Like, Ooh, orange uh, crush is great in the morning. Or no, 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 not no. What what is it? Uh, oh, tangerine wheat. Tangerine wheat. Ah. Yeah, I don't like an orange crush. We're really you don't uh, like orange crush. Who are you? Really? We're really airing out <laughs> our morning drinking habits, but I want everybody to know. For me and that Jonah, was at least, just one year in December of one year for me. It's because we would go to church, and then after church we'd get brunch. And yeah. you would get a drink during brunch. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, or they two. Just serve beer or three. At Eleven o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Who would have thought? So you go, you get yourself a nice little chicken and waffle sandwich back when mm. I ate meat, of course. Yeah. No. And then a nice big wave. And it's oh, a good or time. One or two tangerine wheats and then the rest of your day is ruined because you're mm-hmm. tired. You have to go home and take a nap. Yeah. yeah it that sucks. sucks. Yeah. But you know what? At the we moment, lost a lot of we lost a lot of time. Oh yeah, we did. There just, goes your Sunday. Yeah. Crazy. Not Sunday. even like being drunk or anything, just being tired just getting like the slightest little buzz Mm -hmm. but then you come off it like immediately and of course you sit there for hours drinking like water and then like you're starting to come down and then you go home and you're just like yeah next question next question we're almost there guys i'm gonna skip that one actually keep them coming oh okay well never mind i'm not gonna skip anything what's a perfect day Ooh. quick answer though like sum it up real quick real quick uh wake up don't have anything to do i'm gonna make myself wake up but a little bit of little wake up Uh, Sucks. Time to go and put on some makeup. <laughs> don't yeah. don't don't go off of him. Please. Yeah. Uh, my perfect day. Wake I up. I wanted to. <laughs> my perfect day. God damn it. I wake up. Do not take the Lord's yeah. name of vain in this house. You. I am deconstructed. <laughs> this is a good little rival rivalry. Yeah. 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 We've got two sides of the same coin. There you I go. Love it. Wake up around probably like, like 10 or so. I want to do it again so fast. And uh, big old glass of spicy V8. Mm, of course. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. probably... He said make it quick, but... Or don't. Whatever. <laughs> You're then... the one that has to work <laughs> And then I'm going to hang out with my, I'm gonna hang out with my lovely, <laughs> beautiful girlfriend. We're going to hang out. We're going to watch something. I'm going to play some games. And then I would really love to like go out to like Waffle House. Nice. Mm. For lunch. Come <clears> back. <throat> maybe watch a good movie or something like Lord of the Rings or mm. Endgame or something like that. Chill out, play some more games, maybe hang out with you guys, my friends, and yep. then have a fire at the end of the night, and then go home Damn. and fall asleep. I took mine, man. It's a good. Mine that's a good is, day. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing going on. Wake up like eight, nine, maybe. Mm. Um, kind of relax a little in the morning, but uh, go to a state park or something. Go for a hike. Oh, that's a good. couple hours. Make me look Just like a lazy my, piece of shit. By myself. Uh, do a lunch. By yourself. Yeah. All right. That's like my alone time. I'll hit a hit a park up. It's I'm a good sure. way to be. Trails. It's a good way to be. Good stuff. Let um, me know if you want me to want a partner. I'll come with you. Yeah, actually, that'd be cool. That'd oh, be cool. I could, don't I let don't buy Jack. You've never offered, so. Well, I could come. And you know how often I go. I could. I'll come. bring my camera. Get some oh, photos. Nice. Yeah. I'll bring my. Yeah. Like, actually, we can put it on the Instagram, and it'll be like, yeah. "Where's Jeff?" And it's like, "Oh, he he's, he he sucks." Know. I'll he's be having my That's what we need to get to. Day. We need to get. We need to get Jeff sucks merch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, no, no. We'll make one of each, and we'll see which one sells more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. Does that mean I win? If you no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Jeff, what's your perfect day? He didn't finish. Oh, he didn't. Whoever, I'm sorry. Whoever I'm sorry. sells the most doesn't get a cut of any of it. The, the other two split the rest. <laughs> yeah. But Just on the t-shirt. How about this? Yes, but the other two have to buy him something nice. All right. Okay, fair enough. Fair yep. enough. So, um, 
yeah go to a state park or something um hike um do some kind of lunch probably i just like going out to restaurants i don't like cooking anymore so probably Mm -hmm. go to a restaurant for lunch if somebody was going with me if not just eat at home yep um probably play some music guitar or something uh, in the afternoon dinner with friends wine come back into a fire into the late late night Mm. seems to be a common denominator yeah well we seem to all be having a good time doing it so that's true Look at this. I'd be offended if life. it didn't make the list, actually. But, Jeff? Yeah. Uh, it's a Friday. It's Friday. God. I'm waking up. He's about waking up? 8 30. About 8 30. Right about 8 30. Just doing his ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, wake up at about 8 30. I then go to the fish store. The fish store. Right. Purchase some goods. Fish or just fish goods? Fish goods. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Come home. And do some redecorating. My fish tanks, do some cleaning, you know, maybe I got some reptile stuff. I'm just working it out. I thought out. you only did that when you're drunk. I'm reworking my life. Okay. Do that. <laughs> what step is that? <laughs> reworking my life. I'm, I'm speed running yeah. all 12. Is that before yeah. or after the apologies? Because uh, I'm still waiting on mine. <laughs> I've never wronged you. <laughs> Except for that one really? time. Um, but anyway, doing some stuff, you know, having a good time. Uh, just consuming podcasts. Yeah. Just well, the best stuff. Yeah. Yep. Then uh, that goes till about Ours. noon. Right about noon, time to eat for the first time. Mm. Intermittent fasting, of course. Yes. Black coffee you this inter- whole time. I actually, I intermittent fast during the work week and don't on the weekends. I actually just nice. stopped since I became a pescatarian because like I'm having trouble like getting the nutrients I need, so wow. I have to eat breakfast. Wow. So. Well, yeah. I go to Starbucks at noon, taking my laptop. I'm getting myself an impossible breakfast sandwich. Nice. Delicious. And um, either a pumpkin spice latte if they're available. Yum. They're out Shorts. now. I know. Dude, it's Have fall. Have you had any yet? I don't, uh, yes. It was mm. good. Three. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> In the same day. <laughs> oh. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So then I eat that, and then I got my laptop. I'm just working on stuff, man. I'm writing podcast episodes. I'm working on scripts. I'm writing TikToks. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Mm. That goes to- Hopefully till soon to be playing games. That's not on my perfect day, though. Oh, okay. Sorry, didn't make the cut. Yeah. So that goes until about 4 o'clock, probably. Yeah. And then uh, at 4 o'clock, uh, I'm going to come home. I'm going to clean a little bit. And at that point, I'm cracking open a little there little cheeky little Mick big Ultra. Wave. A big wave if I got it. You yeah. know, something light, though. Nothing crazy. Okay. And then right around 5, all my friends come home. Jonah comes over. Reed comes over. Yep. The alleys come over. <laughs> And then guess what we do, guys? She hates what? when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> we light up a nice fire, and oh, we just go yeah. into the, the late, late denominator. Yep. Nice. There it is. Nice. You Does know? this mean we're real friends? I, do we need to change the podcast? Should we kiss? Name? Yeah, we have to. You guys do one. it first. Okay. I watch. What? I watch. Whoever wants to start. No, I'm I right. said you guys do it first. Yeah, yeah, I watch. Well, we're, okay. Next How question. <laughs> tall are you? I'm 5'8". Six foot, even. I'm 5'7". So now I can reveal to you the Tinder accounts that I've been making both of us as we've been answering no, these course. questions. Oh, very nah, funny. That's not actually happening. <laughs> how, how funny would it be if I just pulled out two That tenders? would be really funny. What is your Harry Potter house? Ooh. I think we should all take a guess mm. at each other's. I don't know. I him. completely agree. <clears throat> Reed is a classic Hufflepuff. Ding, ding, ding. Yep, that, that is correct. Absolutely. I am a Hufflepuff. I'm saying that you are. You're not Gryffindor. Jonah's definitely Gryffindor, right? Jeff, oh, jo- oh, no. Jonah's wait, wait, definitely wait, wait, wait. Gryffindor. Tell me what the options are. Gryffindor is honestly it. the best house. Like That's what Harry Potter was. He's the, he's the main character. Well, there's Gryffindor, which is like right. honor. Harry, honor. I just need the names. Because okay. I took it. I, I need to remember which Gryffindor, one it was. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff. I was Hufflepuff. What? Yeah, no. That don't fly. We were at Mike's one time, and oh, same yeah. as the Enneagram thing, it was like, oh, yep. this is the thing. Yep. We, yeah. we put the Because one of the alleys was really into it. Yeah, yeah. But I have no <laughs> idea what that means. I, I don't, didn't watch any Harry Potter. I'm guessing that Jeff is still a Slytherin. Probably. Yeah, I was a Slytherin. I've never yeah. even heard of Ravenclaw before. Ravenclaw is like knowledge. Oh. and like Ravenclaw is emo. Yeah. I think Allie's a Ravenclaw. It's like knowledge and books and the mysteriousness. Mm-hmm. And then like um, Slytherin's like 
like uh, confident and like, but like kind of in a toxic way. Mm-hmm. It, it's like everything. Slytherin is very much an Enneagram three. Yes. Yes. Mm. You know. Raven uh, uh, Gryffindor is very much an Enneagram one. Okay. Hufflepuff very much an Enneagram nine. Right. Yeah. And I would say which uh, I technically don't fit in with, but Ravenclaw actually makes sense for an Enneagram seven. Yeah. Raven or no wait. Oh. I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's been, this has been fun. Yeah, this has been this great. Has been great. Been great. Um, in the spirit of questions, ask us your questions. Yes. We please. will end every episode with a question from please. fans. Leave a comment. You can email me here. But until we get fans who ask us questions, yes. we're going to ask questions to our friends and family. Okay. So I've gathered a question from my mother. Uh, of course. Nice. <clears throat> what is the most hardcore drug you've ever done? <laughs> And I uh, believe this is just a test. I think she's just testing my friends. <laughs> yeah. But please answer honestly. I, th- I want to say like oxy. Oxy. For like legit pain meds. Ah, uh, that'll do it. If it's prescribed, that does that count? I think Reed can count it because I don't think he's done anything else. Yeah. Nope. Which is harder? Because um, they don't seem that hard. But Adderall, recreationally, mm-hmm. LSD. LSD. LSD, for sure. Yeah, okay. For sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That's my answer. All right. <laughs> and mine is non-prescribed Xanax. Well, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense for you. Thank you. That does make sense. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for watching. That thank has you. been Podcasters Anonymous. The first episode, yep, guys, yep, I think we yep. knocked it out of the park. I think we did. a grand slam. I think they should come back because, like, that yeah. was really good, and there's going to be more. And they should come back and watch that because mm-hmm. it's going to be even better. And Hopefully. there's a lot of good stuff on the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't exist. <laughs> and now, Check once it this out. is Maybe out, now it, it surely it will. Oh, yeah, yeah. Surely. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, ding that bell, leave a comment. Check us out on socials, TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, I love you. I love you. And I love you. All right. Thank you.